Alright guys, in today's video, I am going to show you guys a bunch of blocks for attacks that almost nobody knows. Maybe not even the devs themselves. Some of the things I'm going to show you was actually meant to be in the game, and some were actually not meant to be in the game. Starting off the first hack with something simple and sweet. There are actually two items in the game that have infinite range almost. And if you were looking down at my hotbar, I have the paw fruit and the soul guitar, which are the two longest range items in the game. If I go ahead and use the Z ability, it goes extremely far. As you can see, it is barely in camera frame right there, and it finally disappeared. With that range, you could almost reach another island. But speaking of other islands, we could shoot our paw barrage and heavy paws all the way to floating turtle over there, and it would absolutely reach. Same thing goes for the soul guitar. The soul guitar has crazy range itself too. This thing goes insanely far. This second thing is more of a secret rather than a hack, but you may or may not know this. Currently, I have the sand fruit equipped, and it is the only fruit in the game to take double damage in water. I have Rectoy with me who's also going to jump in the water at the same time as me to show you guys the damage difference and how crazy it actually is. On the count of three Rectoy, we walk in. One, two, three. And we'll see how much faster I die than Rectoy. And would you look at that? He was at half health while I died. But since we're talking about the ocean and water, I want to show you guys another hack with the fruit. A more interesting fruit, and that is the dragon fruit. For this hack, you're going to need dragon and the furry meter to be all the way maxed out because you're going to need the transformation for this one. Did someone say dragons? Shut up. Go away, furry. Dude, you better shut up before I drag these nuts on your face. Okay, buddy. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and talk to the luxury boat dealer and we're gonna go ahead and get a boat if you have the enforcer boat this hack is gonna be even crazier so let's go ahead and transform and as you can see i have mastery 600 so i have the ultimate black dragon what you want to do is aim for the seat of the boat and as you can see we are locked in we can now swim as a dragon and you go super fast the dragons don't even fly this fast personally i call this hack the dragon awakening hack it is now promoted to water lizard fruit this is also a quick little bonus hack since we're on the topic of boats and riding them did you know that the control fruit can actually make boats fly all you have to do is set up your control area use your x ability on your friend's boat and then throw him somewhere and he will go flying but that's enough playing with boats i know you guys want to gain some value and gain some fruits so for this hack did you know liking and subscribing right now will get you a mythical fruit from the blocks fruit roller correct wait let's go ahead and test that theory let me go ahead and roll a fruit and see what i get okay it's time for me to roll my fruit all right awesome Awesome. Let's go ahead and pull out our fruits on three. One, two, three. Oh my god, I got dough! Yo, what? I got revived fruit because I can't like and subscribe to myself. But for this next hack, since we have a fruit with us, there is actually a secret glitch that has a 0.25% chance of working, and you can duplicate fruits. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but Rectway, let's try it out. So for the glitch, we're gonna have to go ahead and drop the fruit. Rectway and I have to shift lock our cameras so our cameras look like this. And at the same time, we have to walk on top of that fruit. On the count of three, Rectway, Wait, we run to it. One, two, three. Okay, we got it at the same time. Rectway, do you have it? Yes, sir. Oh, no way. That is actually crazy. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my pocket real quick. We got some more hacks to attend to. Rectway actually told me about this hack. It's over at Hydra Island. So, Rectway, where is this secret area you're about to show us? All right, dude. So, you need to go into, like, this mythical hole, okay? The, the what kind of hole? The mythical hole. What mythical hole? Wait. It's gonna be on the edge right here on the top left. Uh-huh. Top left edge. Whoa, wait, what? What the uh -huh. heck is that? That. Hurry up. I'm sorry. It's hard to get up here, but what the heck? There's a little tiny hole here. Okay. And where does this take us? Oh, you're about to see, bro. Come over here. Whoa, what the heck? What kind of hack is this? You see like that giant weird looking temple place? Oh yeah, I see it. What is this area? So if you go around the corner right here, uh-huh. Now jump down here in like this other hole. Okay. So you shift lock and just press R and then you get teleported inside here. Inside where? What the heck is this area? Huh? Wait, what? Is this the beautiful pirate room? Yeah, that's your boyfriend. That's your boyfriend. What are you talking about? And wait, if we walk through this door, does that mean we're at Turtle Island somehow? Wait, what? If somebody is bounty hunting you and manhunting you around the third sea, that is a crazy way to escape. There is no way you're getting caught. Another little secret, since we're actually here next to Floating Turtle and next to God Human, which is actually one of the hardest fighting styles to get, in this tree, there is an ancient monk who actually teaches you the fighting style. But something I bet you didn't know is God Human is the only fighting fighting style in the entire game that requires materials to learn, such as fishtails, 
magma ores, dragon scales, and droplets. Oh yeah, and it also costs 5 million bucks, so you're gonna need a lot of money, including 5,000 frags. But for this next hack, imagine you're short on money. You don't have too much money left over from grinding. You spent it all on rolling fruits, right? So if we want to make all that money back, all we have to do is go to the haunted castle. And this is pretty much like an infinite money hack. But I highly recommend using a fruit that has a fly ability such as love, because you're gonna need to go all the way to the top of haunted castle. So we are finally approaching the top. It is really high up here, as you guys can see. But inside this bucket, there are three blue chests. And if you guys don't know anything about what the blue chests mean, it is the most valuable chest in all of the game. So if you get one, it gives you about $11,000. And if you want to farm these fast, all you have to do is just leave and rejoin the server. And that will give you infinite money. Number, you want to see like another hack I can do? Wait, what hack can you do? I can disappear just like your dad. Oh, wow. Very funny. You're just gonna get back over here. Wait, what? Did you teleport out? No, I'm still here. I'm right in front of you. What are you talking about? Hold on. Let me let me try something real quick. If I use my C ability. What? <laughs> what the heck? Well, I guess portal makes you invisible for a hack too. Rectoy, portal me to C castle. I need to show them another hack, but I need more space in this little bucket over here. Gosh, I hate being your Uber driver for life. Too bad. Now for this hack, you're gonna need the Buddha fruit. And you're gonna get infinite range hacks. So what you have to do first is press Z. And then you're also gonna unshift, but switch to the fighting style you're gonna use. So we're gonna go ahead and press Z and then shift to our fighting style here. So Rectway, go ahead and come and try to punch me real quick. Try punching me from over there. You can't punch me, right? Yeah, I can't. Go ahead and walk up to me and actually hit me now. All right. All right, now step a couple steps back. All right, that's perfect. I could go ahead and punch you from back here. Yo, what the heck are you hacking? Well, technically I am. Oh yeah, and you could also do this with swords as well. So what's up, Rectway? Stop, that hurts. Too bad. But seriously, guys, do not try any of these hacks in a public server or for your advantage. Doing these hacks can easily get you banned. So leave it to the professionals with big katanas. But for these next hacks, we're gonna have to go back to the first C. So here we are back in the first C. For this first one, we're gonna actually go to the Sky Islands. And in the building you teleport into, right at the roof, it says FUD10. F-U-D-D-10. And if you type that in on this Twitter code right here, you get 10 bucks. I can't do it because I already redeemed it. It's not much, but it's something, right? But don't worry, this next hack is gonna be even more interesting. Over at prison, apparently there's a way to remove your block fruit in the first C. And I'm not sure where, but I heard there's an NPC here. Number you bozo, he's all the way over here. What? Oh, he's right over there. Okay, awesome. So here he is. If you go ahead and talk to him, he will remove the current blocks for you're using. And he charges 50 bucks to steal your fruit. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And there you go. Blocks fruit removed. What is actually also cool about removing your blocks fruit is back in the day you were actually able to remove your blocks fruit while using it. So you were able to use multiple blocks fruits at once. But the rumor is, whenever you used to do that glitch, some weird things used to happen to your character. Character. Uh, and speaking of characters, what happened to you? I don't want to talk about a number. Oh my gosh. He can't even walk. He just glides now. This is more of a secret than a hack, but this is aimed towards the new beginner players. So Rexway, you're going to go ahead and get in my hole and we're going to go to Volcano. Get in your what? My portal hole, bro. What are you talking about? I don't want to see you that way, number. Bro, what? Okay, I'm just talking about the volcano and portal, but behind the volcano, there's like a secret door, which is actually right here. And if you go inside it, you could talk to the skeleton and get the soul cane from him, which is a pretty decent sword to use in the first C. But those are all the hacks and secrets I could come up with in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.